Welcome, one and all, to D&D. &D. So, just over a month ago, a strange outbreak occurred. It caused the dead to rise and feed upon the living. No one knows why it occurred, or how it did. But after one month, that's all it took for all society to collapse. And now, the four of you, driving your car, on the way to possibly the only safe place, as the government has described, Atlanta, Georgia. You may choose to disclose the info on your tragedies, your background, so far in the apocalypse. So, does anyone have something to say? Four Adventurers. Starring Ryan! Whoa. Danny, Connor, it's like I'm really there. Nick, yes. They will adventure through tales untold. Will they survive? This is Dungeons and Dragons. Someone's dog one time. That's really it. So they, we shoot him first. <laughs> they didn't buy my product, and their dog was just barking at me. It just happened. We'll, we'll have a feel about that. So, uh, what's your names? Uh, my name is Cole Winter. Cole Winter? Yes. I'm Mason. Mason? Yosef. Hi, I'm Paul, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Paul. And so, as you drive along the road, you see, you see this shabby figure on the side of the road. He's, he's got this gross-looking hospital gown on, and he's, he's just outside Harrison Memorial Hospital, which is in the relative area of Kentucky. And so, you're driving south towards Atlanta. And so, he notices you as you drive down this road. He signals you. What do you do? Drive by. I think we should pick him up. I, I think we should, we should pull over and keep him at a distance and talk to him and see what's up. Can we check for any signs of rotting? I can talk to him. You would have to get up close for that. I was just going to talk to him. Hey, no, no, no. So I can do that too. I have 20 charisma. Fuck I have you. 19. We, we pull over fall in love. a ways away and what? Is, that, is this the group decision? You pull over? Pull over yeah, a ways away. Pull we pull over a ways away. We approach him, but we keep him at a distance. Someone just stays. And we tell him to stay away we should, before we. We should go in groups of kay. two. Two people so, for the track, two people for him. Go check and go. He has a lot of charisma. Yeah, I, have I know, a ton but of like. Charisma. I have ugliness, so I can No, the away. ugly okay. duck is Wait, no, you're back. strong. You I'm like, I got 14, 14 strings. I got 70. Okay, yeah. bring, bring God the damn it, I'm useless. Okay, okay. It's me and you can go out. I, I can woo someone that tries to steal everything. But he's gonna woo. He's no, gonna no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm a pretty good wooer. I'm better. <laughs> well, I'm, that's why I'm standing back. No, you can Take back. note. He is the politician. Yeah. He, for all we know, this man might recognize him. Yeah. But whether I'm, or not he hates you. I'm a traveling salesman. Oh, who you went? No one recognizes me. <laughs> no, you, you were quite correct about that. Take. If, if uh, you're going over there and he seems like a cool guy or whatever, make sure he has no bites. Yeah. Take the looks and the guns. Yeah. Even though you have no guns, yeah. you well, no, only no. have. I was talking about this, this guy's giant Oh, arm. these guns, okay. Yeah. So. His python. So, you all. You, well, not all. Yeah. Paul. There you go. Paul and Mason, you leave the car leaving Yosef and Cole to defend it. So as you approach the shabby, grisly looking man, you notice one thing. He has a wound on his side. And he's like, hey. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Name? Name's Rick. Roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where, what, what's going on? Where are you guys going? 
<laughs> What's with the wound? The wound? Well, last thing I remember, we were just doing a routine stop and this guy pulled out a gun. Yeah, I got shot. Here we are. I don't know, I just woke up. You're the politician, talk to us. <laughs> the... Oh, I'm so ashamed of that. Did you come from the hospital? Yeah, yeah, I just woke up in there. What did you see? What did I see? I mean, the place was torn apart. There was blood all over the place. There's... Yeah. Did you see anything in the city? City? What city? <laughs> Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta? Never been there. I mean, we're we're in Kentucky, right? Yeah. Yeah. Never been to Atlanta. Maybe on the odd vacation to my wife's family. Wait. So have you been to Atlanta or not? Yeah, yeah. The odd vacation. Okay. Yeah. You said you've never been to Atlanta. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just woke up. Give me, give me a break. <laughs> You can give me that. So, like, what's going on? Zombies, man. Zombies. Zombies? What the fuck are you talking about? Are you with anybody? No, I just woke up. Do you have any weapons? <laughs> he lifts his arm to show that he's only wearing a hospital gown and a pair of boxer briefs. Damn. His chiseled abs are violent. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly saggy a bit due to the fact he's been in a coma. How does... You two are not allowed to give input to the situation. I really want to. You can. Or not, you wish to, but you can't. Because you're further back because you decided to park a distance away. Check them for bites! <laughs> Don't yell out loud whenever you know what's happening. Do a roll. Oh, See damn your it! Yell carries. <laughs> your yelp. Oh, roll a d20 there. Uh, okay. Oh no. Nope. nope. <laughs> it doesn't it's carry. a mere whisper. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and so, he tries to how will you guys proceed with this situation? This man named Rick just... Well, he's in a hospital gown. He's got a wound on his side. You can tell by the bandage that has it's a little, little red and green, a little weird looking. Green. It's dirty. It's gross. So, what do you guys mean, zombies? Like, zombies, like dead people eating people. Jesus, what? Yep. I gotta, I gotta find my family. They're probably dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man! <laughs> Jesus! Dude, there's a town, Cynthia. It's down the road. Could you take me to there? Gotta go home. Gotta check. Sure. Call us back to the van, and then we check you for... Check your world. Thanks! That'd be real appreciated if you could take me to uh, Cynthia. Alright, just go back to the van. Yeah. Back okay. in so, or car. Okay. So, I'm bad with the names. Paul and Mason. Yeah. Paul and Mason take the shabby-looking man to your car. He's now in front of you guys. If you wish to say anything to him, did you check him for bites? Bites. Him Why would I have a bite? Okay, Zombies, you... man. Zombies. <laughs> <laughs> What's okay. up with him? Uh, he would just woke up. Just yeah. Well, in a hospital. He has Wait, a he woke up in a hospital, a place where thousands of dead were going all the time, and were the first places to all be dead, and somehow he survived a month in there. Yep. A month? Alone. I've been out for a month. With, shut up, with <laughs> nobody watching over him. Could have been locked in a room. Locked away. You didn't see anybody in this place? Nothing? Nothing. The lights were off? Any, I mean... Any bodies? Bodies? Yeah, there were bodies everywhere. Okay, so when we ask you if you've seen nothing, 
body wasn't out of the ordinary for you to mention there. Well, <laughs> give me a break. So this hospital was overrun. There's obviously dead bodies there. And when when have you found that the uh, the dead haven't the friggin' zombies haven't walked around and made sure that they tried to get them? Okay. Right. This does not seem jacked up to you guys. Okay. If it's not too much, may I ask you to show us your wound? I guess. And so, Rick, you know, he sort of peels the bandage back. It's quite evident that it is a gunshot wound and not a bite. And he tries to slap it back together, but it's sort of flappy and saggy now. And a little, a little gross looking. He needs to clean this wound for sure soon. Okay, I I vote I vote we give him some supplies. What supplies do we have? I have another question though. How did he survive without any life support for a month? Well, it was a gunshot. You don't just die. He was in a shot. coma for a month without getting any saline, without any food, without no, any the, water. No, it was hooked up. The saline was hooked up to my arm. All right, so he has a bit of fluid, food, water. He don't. He doesn't exactly look like a friggin' as a corpse. Well, he's here and he's alive. <laughs> he can, he's I'm just saying his story seems a yeah. bit off. I got nothing to it. Okay. I just woke up today. I I don't. We're not going to keep you. We can just get you where you want to go. Okay. Thank you kindly. I'd be really appreciated. All I have to do is just find my family, make sure they're all right. Can we put them in the trunk? What I'm, 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 I'm kidding. What do we have in the car? Let's open up the trunk and see what we have. Okay. All right. Just do a quick, uh, quick roll. Just one roll will be Wait. required. Let Nick do it. He or do do it. Do a dual roll. Do roll okay. for a spot check. You're just looking. Yeah. This is why we let Nick. This is why we let Nick roll. What do you got? God damn. Seventeen. Two Seventeen. So a nineteen. You see everything, obviously, because it's the fucking. It's a fucking. Trunk. <laughs> All right. So you look inside the trunk. You see. Basic survival gear, such as Connor's backpack, uh, your weapons, uh, basic food requirement, such as you have at least two days worth of food left, because you've been driving for quite a while, and you've been skipping over places, because you just want to get to the one place that may be safe. Okay, we've... can we roll for how much gas we have left then? Or do we just You, have, like, you have don't need to roll, you know you have enough to get you. To where you're going. We should definitely stop there. There's going to be a lot of surprises. You have, sorry, you have, let me correct my statement. You have enough to get you to Cynthia in past. Yeah. So depending if you, yeah. Wait, do I have any cool stuff in my, in my backpack? Uh, in your backpack, you just have basic keepsakes, such as a photo, if you had any family. Photo of the dead dog. A photo of the dead dog. <laughs> you have basic, like, a little pocket knife, some awesome. spoons, and... A spoon and a fork and like yes. can openers, basic gear. For Anybody you. have any cards? If you're a con man, you should probably have a deck of cards. Awesome. All right. So, how do you proceed from now? You've welcomed him into your car. Do you just drive to Cynthia, which is on the way to Atlanta? So you are going directly to your location. You're just doing a little side stop in Cynthia. Who has a medical background? Anyone? Medical background. I don't believe any of you have one. I, I worked on a military base, so there'd be... You have probably... Basic. The, you have yes. the most training out of us all, which is still the most basic. Yeah, it's still the most basic. You wouldn't be able to solve a giant gash. Yeah, yeah. You could do basics. 